Science and Technology. Grade 8. Unit 5. Life Process 1 Reproduction. All exercise in English. Exercise 1. Choose the best alternative from the given answers. A. How are new organisms formed during regeneration? I growth of new life from the freshly fragmented part of the parent body. 2. Regenerating the fragmented part into a whole body. 3. Refragmenting the fragmented part. 4. Direct development of body from fragmented part. Answer. 2. Regenerating the fragmented part into a whole body. B. What should be followed while propagating plants through cutting? I. There should be few leaves in the cut part. 2. There should be new buds in the cut part. 3. The cut branch should be taken from the upper part of the stem of the parent plant. 4. There should be a few nodes in the cut part. Answer. 4. There should be a few nodes in the cut part. C. Which of the following represents the meaning of reproduction? I. Mechanism birth and death. 2. To give birth to young ones at maturity. 3. Biological process of giving birth. 4. Forming seeds, laying eggs, giving birth. Answer. 3. Biological process of giving birth. D. Which type of reproduction is shown in the figure? I. Tuber. 2. Bulbals. 3. Rhizome. 4. Corm. Answer. For corm. E. If producing many plantlets from small X plant in a lab under the controlled environment is tissue culture, then which of the following sentence is related to this method? I only a small piece of stem or branch of the parent plant is taken. Two whole part of the plant is taken. Three small cut pieces of both plants and animals can be taken for generating offspring. For it can be done only in non-flowering plants. Answer. I, only a small piece of stem or branch of the parent plant is taken. 2. Differentiate. I, fission and budding. Fission, the process of an organism dividing to become two new organisms, is called fission. There are two types of fission. Amoeba, euglena, and paramecium undergo the fission process. Budding. Budding is the process of forming a new organism by growing a small bud on the side of the organism's body. There are no types of budding. The budding process occurs in yeast, hydra, and jellyfish. 2. Bulbals and rhizome. Bulbals, in plants, a group of special buds forms at the eye, the edge of the leaf, and the tip of the stem, known as bulbals. Roots and shoots grow from bulbs to form new plants. Rhizome, a rhizome is a modified stem. They separate from the parent plant and become new plants. 3. Natural and artificial. Natural. This method cannot produce early fruiting plants. Roots, underground stems, above ground stems, leaves, bulbs, etc. are examples of this. Artificial. With this method, plants that bear fruit quickly can be produced. Cutting, grafting, layering, grafting, tissue culture are examples of this. For layering and grafting. Layering. Layering is done on plants with low, soft branches that continue to branch even after they die. Lemons and grapes are examples of such plants. Grafting. Grafting is a technique used to connect two parts of the same species, or closely related species. Mango, lychee, and orange are examples of plants commonly grafted. 3. Give reason A. Asexual reproduction has no concept of male and female. Answer. Asexual reproduction occurs without the union of male and female sex cells, so there is no distinction between male and female in asexual reproduction. B. The reproduction from the tuber of a potato is called vegetative propagation. Answer. Since potato tubers are propagated from underground stems, reproduction through potato tubers is known as vegetative propagation. C. Farmers will be benefited from grafting techniques. Answer. Farmers benefit from grafted plants because they are produced quickly, are of good quality, and result from joining the parts of two plants of the same species or closely related species.
D. Tissue culture is considered the most advanced method among other methods of vegetative propagation. Answer. Tissue culture is a modern technology and a more reliable technique compared to other methods. It produces a complete plant by placing a small part of a plant cell or tissue in nutrient-rich media within a controlled laboratory environment. From this, many plants are produced by growing stems and roots. Therefore, tissue culture is considered a more advanced technique compared to other methods of artificial vegetative propagation. For answer the following questions, A. What is reproduction? Give an example. Answer. Reproduction is the process by which living organisms produce offspring similar to themselves through biological processes. For example, fission, budding, and regeneration are examples of reproduction. B. What are the types of asexual reproduction? Describe any one of them if brief. Answer. The methods of asexual reproduction are as follows. A. Fission B. Budding C. Fragmentation. Regeneration E. Sporulation F. Parthenogenesis. Budding. Organisms such as yeast, hydra, jellyfish, and coral reproduce by budding. In this type of reproduction, small buds develop on the body of the organism. The bud grows and eventually separates from the parent to become a new organism. C. Describe the budding process in hydra with suitable figures. Answer. Hydra reproduces by budding. In this type of reproduction, a small bud grows on the side of the hydra's body. The bud continues to grow and eventually, the bud separates from the parent and becomes a new hydra. This process is illustrated in the picture below. D. Make a flowchart of the methods of vegetative propagation. Answer. The method of vegetative propagation can be shown in the chart as follows. E. What kind of reproductive unit is bulbul? Give an example. Answer A. Bulbul is a reproductive organ used in natural vegetative propagation. Examples include ground orchid, buicata, lily, onion, garlic, etc. F. What are stock and cyan in grafting? Describe the process of grafting with its advantage. Answer. The root system part of the selected plant is called the stock, and the stem system part is called the scion or graft. Once the plant grown from seed is one year old, it is prepared for grafting by cutting it 20 to 30 centimeters above the surface. The scion is taken from the branch of a plant that has already fruited. The stock and scion are connected at the cut part. Grafting wax is applied and the graft is tied with a rope. After a few days, both parts join together and function as a new plant. This is the process of grafting. The benefits of grafting are as follows. A. High quality plants B. Faster production C. Supports the agricultural system of Nepal G. What is layering? Draw a figure of layering with an example. Answer. Vegetative propagation is called layering in plants with soft, flexible branches that continue to branch from the time of flowering. Lemons and grapes are examples of this. A picture of this method is provided below. H. Write down the name of the method of asexual reproduction in the following organism. I. Artificial vegetative propagation is more important and beneficiary to everybody. Justify this statement including some examples. Answer. The breed and lineage of plants are improved through the artificial vegetative propagation method. This method can produce early fruiting plants and allows for the production of many new plants from one parent plant in a short period of time. Artificial vegetative propagation is more important and beneficial than natural vegetative propagation because it enables the production of new plants, even in species where seeds are not viable for germination. 
In the next video, Unit 5.2, we will talk about sexual reproduction in plants and animals. Thank you very much for watching this video, Namaskar. Thank you for watching.